I'm excited to talk about our work on kaleidoscope matrices as an efficient and learnable representation for all structured linear maps. Structured linear maps are those with fast algorithms and few parameters, and they are ubiquitous in machine learning. You've probably heard of some of them before. For example, low rank and sparse matrices are commonly used to design compact machine learning models, and the discrete Fourier transform is used in speech pre-processing and convolution in image modeling. These structured linear maps are so useful because they have fast multiplication algorithm and few parameters. They do sometimes introduce some approximation errors since they can only represent a restricted set of matrices. But if you pick the right structure, you can get good trade-off in terms of memory, speed, and accuracy. That's why they're being used in data centers, in your phones, and in autonomous vehicles. These hand-picked structured linear maps are ubiquitous in machine learning. The problem is that it's not easy to pick which class of structured linear map to use. Some of them, like Fourier transform, are fixed and don't adapt to data. You may need extensive domain knowledge to pick the right type to use, and they may have very different implementations and thus require lots of effort to get them to work. To address these challenges, we want a family of structured linear maps that's learnable and adapts to the rest of the machine learning pipeline. And this family should be expressive enough to represent common structures so that we can automate these design choices. And it should have a single efficient implementation that reduces engineering effort. This brings us to the question, is there a learnable, expressive, and efficient representation for all structural linear maps? And the answer is yes, as I'll show in this video. I'll first show how to parameterize structured linear maps as products of sparse matrices. Then I'll introduce kaleidoscope matrices and show that they are practically learnable and they're expressive and efficient. Finally, I'll show a cool application where kaleidoscope matrices can replace hand-tuned structures to simplify speech pre-processing. Let's start with some background on how fast linear maps are equivalent to matrices with sparse factorization. The one direction of the equivalence going from sparse factorization to fast multiplication is relatively straightforward. Let's say that you have a linear map A or matrix A that can be written as products of sparse matrices. Then to multiply A by a vector x, we simply multiply x with each factor of A starting from the right. This has complexity on the order of the total number of non-zeros in the factorization. So any matrix with a sparse factorization has a fast multiplication algorithm. The other direction of the equivalence is more subtle, but our recent theoretical work has shown that any matrix with a fast multiplication algorithm also has a sparse factorization. Even with sparse factorization, it's still hard to learn of a product of general sparse matrices. So we'll need some inductive bias to make it easier. In particular, we'll use butterfly matrices as a building block. These are products of sparse matrices with a special sparsity pattern that is fixed. And they encode the recursive divine conquer structure. So we propose kaleidoscope matrices as deep composition of butterfly matrices. And because the sparsity pattern is fixed, this is trainable with, for example, gradient descent on just the non-zero entries of the butterfly matrices. Even though the sparsity pattern is fixed, kaleidoscope matrices are surprisingly expressive. They can represent a wide variety of structural linear maps in almost tight number of parameters in runtime. Examples include the discrete Fourier transform, convolution, permutation, low rank, and sparse matrices. And our main theoretical result, the one we're most excited about, covers all structural linear maps. Any matrix with a fast multiplication algorithm, formalized as having a small arithmetic circuit, has a kaleidoscope matrix representation with few parameters. Recall that kaleidoscope matrices are products of butterfly matrices. In terms of efficiency, each butterfly matrix of dimension n has two n log n parameters and an n log n multiplication algorithm. We provide fast implementation on GPU that's within 2x of the very optimized QFFT, which only does the Fourier transform. So kaleidoscope matrices are practically efficient in memory and speed. Now I'll show a cool application where kaleidoscope matrices can simplify the speech preprocessing pipeline. In the standard filter bank pipeline to featureize speech signals, the raw input goes through six hand-engineered steps. However, we can replace five of these steps with just a kaleidoscope matrix and learn it along with a downstream model in an end-to-end -end manner. On the timid speech recognition dataset, this pipeline learned from scratch is within 0.4% of the hand tuned pipeline that has been standard for more than a decade. So this much simpler kaleidoscope pipeline is competitive with hand-engineered pre-processing. To summarize, I've talked about how to parameterize structural linear maps as products of sparse matrices and introduce kaleidoscope matrices. These are practically learnable, expressive, and efficient. 
and as a result, they can replace hand-engineered structures in machine learning.